Hey y'all, I just had a couple things I just wanted to spout out here. So for one, I don't know if anyone else has noticed this, but this is just something I just feel like I should just honestly just kind of talk about a little bit because it, it bugs me a little bit sometimes when I think about it. So I just figured, eh, why not talk about it? Something that people may not notice is that I am right hand dominant. So obviously as a drummer, this kind of comes with some benefits and then some downsides. One of which is that my left hand tends to drag just a little bit when it comes to um, capability, speed, strength, endurance, and all that kind of thing. Now, I know not everybody really can notice it because sometimes I just usually switch over when I'm playing blast beats to my right hand just so that way I can keep up tempo of the song. But it does definitely get on my nerves sometimes when I know that this hand can't keep up with the right hand. And I know this isn't a alone struggle. There are thousands and hundreds of thousands of drummers out there that deal with the same kind of thing. Left hand just kind of drags a little bit because the right hand is dominant. Right hand learns things faster and all that. So what are some things that we can do as right hand dominant drummers that'll help us to kind of tear up there so that way our left hand can be built up to speed. Well, there's probably three things mainly that I'll focus on this video. So point number one, obviously start out slow. Everybody tells you that whenever you're starting out younger and a lot of times we're hotheads, we don't want to listen to that. We just want to go, 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 go and hit the freaking full gas on every single time. Bleh. Hit the full gas on every single time. But we can't do that. We have to start out somewhere. We actually have to have a building block to progress upon and build upon so obviously number one start slow number two if you're noticing that your one hand is starting to drag you can always do titration exercises now titration obviously sounds like a really fancy word but i'll just explain it really quick right here so i have a background in working in pharmacology i'm a pharmacy technician and that's what i kind of do for a living so titration is a word that i'm kind of familiar with and so i'll explain what it is titration basically means that you're stepping up dosing or stepping down dosing most of the time it's used in the frame of stepping up it's when a doctor or prescriber gives a patient a starting out low dose of medicine and then slowly increases it incrementally from there until they get to the desired dose so we can do that with what we're practicing and i'll show you an example of how so one thing that we can do to titrate our practice sessions and all that completely take the right hand out of it just use that to kind of just hold on to your leg or something like that Start out with a low tempo. Start out with something like 170 beats a minute. Just playing eighth notes the whole time. Focusing solely on just building up that wrist strength right there. Just doing that. Just do that constantly. Do it for like a minute and a half, a minute, whatever your tolerance is until you start feeling a burn. Slowly increase it by about 5 BPM each time. So that after, we'll probably come and build it up from there. From there, and then from there, and do that kind of thing. I almost lost control of the stick that way. So that's one definite exercise that you can use to help build up your strength and speed, slowly build up and build up tempo as you get a burn, to help build muscle memory, to help build strength and endurance and stamina. Probably the third and most important thing that I think everybody really doesn't neglect is just consistency. How much are you sleeping every day? Are you sleeping the full eight hours? What are you eating? Are you eating things that are giving your muscles enough nutrients? How much do you practice? Do you practice every day? Do you try and work on things every day? Because if you're not consistent with your practice, you can't really build muscle memory that way. So just kind of evaluate some things. Think about things that you can change in your diet that would help build more endurance, that would help build more stamina, help your muscles out a little bit more. Try and focus on your sleep, build good sleeping habits because sleep is excellent for recovery. In fact, actually, if you think about it, we sleep a third of our lives away because we need that extra third of our life to recover. It's definitely essential when you really start thinking about other things that could impact your drumming. It's not just practice. That's a small fraction of it. So thanks for just kind of listening to me just kind of rag on about this. I know I, I don't post these kind of videos. I just post little shorts with me drumming where I practice for like an hour and I just take like 10 clips out of the hour practice session but you know it is what it is appreciate you guys sticking around and listening to this uh if you catch this video and you're just a new person comment something like subscribe whatnot i usually respond to every comment i'd like to see you on board with this to see more quad based videos you can always tune in i post every day at 10 a.m and 9 p.m for shorts anyway long form videos like this one usually whenever i get the time Speaking of which, there is another long-form video coming out soon. I'm going to be explaining my pedal settings eventually because somebody asked about that. So that'll be coming up eventually there. Other than that, y'all take care. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next short.